Hey y'all, welcome to the Little Hiker Book Club, episode two. Um, this time we're going to do one of our favorite family books, which is Blueberries for Sal by Robert McCloskey. Um, this is my daughter, Charlie, and her little brother is at pre-K today. So Charlie and I are gonna host the Little Hiker Book Club. I'm gonna read the book and Charlie has some props that she's gonna use to act out the story. So. If you have any stuffed animals at home, or if you have a little bucket, we are gonna make some sounds of things falling in the bucket. So if you wanna go get your props, feel free. And now. Everybody good? Okay, yeah. Just, if you're not, just pause the video. Everybody good? Okay, good. Okay, great. Blueberries for Sal by Robert McCloskey. One day, little Sal went with her mother to Blueberry Hill to pick blueberries. Little Sal brought along her small tin pail, and her mother brought her large tin pail to put berries in. We will take our berries home and can them, said her mother. Then we will have food for the winter. Little Sal picked three berries and dropped them in her little tin pail. Kaplink, kaplank. Kaplunk. She picked three more berries and ate them. <laughs> then she picked more berries and dropped one in the pail. <laughs> Kaplink. <laughs> and the rest she ate. Then little Sal ate all four blueberries out of her pail. Her mother walked slowly through the bushes picking blueberries as she went and putting them in her pail. Little Sal struggled along behind, picking blueberries and eating every single one. Little Sal hurried ahead and dropped a blueberry in her mother's pail. It didn't sound kaplink because the bottom of the pail was already covered with berries. She reached down inside to get her berry back. Though she really didn't mean to, she pulled out a large handful because there were so many blueberries right up close to the ones that she had put in. Her mother stopped picking and said, Now, Sal, run along and pick your own berries. Mother wants to take her berries home and can them for next winter. Canny, canny. <laughs> Her mother went back to her picking, but little Sal, because her feet were tired of standing and walking, sat down in the middle of a large clump of bushes and ate blueberries. On the other side of Blueberry Hill, Little Bear came with his mother to eat blueberries. Little Bear, she said, eat lots of berries and grow big and fat we must store up food for the long, cold winter. Little Bear followed behind his mother as she walked slowly through the bushes eating berries. Little Bear stopped now and then to eat berries. Then he had to hustle along to catch up. Because his feet were tired of hustling, he picked out a large clump of bushes and sat down right in the middle and ate blueberries. Over on the other side of the hill, little Sal ate all of the blueberries she could reach from where she was sitting. Then she started out to find her mother. She heard a noise from around a rock and thought, that is my mother walking along. But it was a mother crow and her children and they stopped eating berries and flew away saying, ka, ka, ka. Then she heard another noise in the bushes and thought, that is surely my mother and I will go that way. But it was Little Bear's mother instead. 
She was tramping along eating berries and thinking about storing up food for the winter. Little Sal tramped right along behind. By this time, Little Bear had eaten all the berries he could reach without moving his clump of bushes. Then he hustled off to catch up with his mother. He hunted and hunted, but his mother was nowhere to be seen. He heard a noise from over a stump and thought, that is my mother walking along. But it was a mother partridge and her children. They stopped eating berries and hurried away. Then he heard a noise in the bushes and thought, that is surely my mother. I will hustle that way. But it was little Sal's mother instead. She was walking along, picking berries and drinking, oh, and thinking about canning them for next winter. Little Bear hustled right along behind. Little ba Bear and Little Sal's mother and Little Sal and Little Bear's mother were all mixed up with each other among the blueberries on Blueberry Hill. Little Bear's mother heard Sal walking along behind and thought it was Little Bear and she said, Little Bear, munch, munch, eat all you gulp can possibly hold, swallow. Little Sal said, mothering. Little Sal said nothing. She picked the three berries and drop them kaplink, kaplank, kaplunk in her small tin pail. Little Bear's mother turned around to see what on earth could make a noise like kaplink. Grumph, she cried, choking on a mouthful of berries. This is not my child. Where is Little Bear? She took one good look and backed away. She was old enough to be shy of people, even a very small person like Little Sal. Then she turned around and walked off very fast to hunt for Little Bear. Little Sal's mother heard Little Bear tramping along behind and thought it was Little Sal. She kept right on picking and thinking about canning blueberries for next winter. Little Bear padded up and peeked into her pail. Of course, he only wanted to taste a few of what was inside, but there were so many, and they were so close together that he tasted a tremendous mouthful by mistake. Now, Sal, said Little Sal's mother without turning around, you run along and pick your own berries. Mother wants to can these for next winter. Little Bear tasted another tremendous mouthful and almost spilled the entire pail of blueberries. Little Sal's mother turned around and gasped. My goodness, you are not Little Sal. Where, oh, where is my child? Little Bear just sat munching and munching and swallowing and licking his lips. Little Sal's mother slowly backed away. She was old enough to be shy of bears, even very small bears like Little Bear. Then she turned and walked away quickly to look for Little Sal. She hadn't gone very far before she heard a kaplink, kaplink, kaplunk. She knew just what made that kind of noise. Little Bear's mother had not hunted very long before she heard a hustling sound that stopped now and then to munch and swallow. She knew just what made that kind of a noise. Little Bear and his mother went home down one side of Blueberry Hill, eating blueberries all the way and full of food stored up for next winter. And Little Sal and her mother went down the other side of Blueberry Hill, picking berries all the way and drove home with food to can for next winter, a whole pail of blueberries and three more beside. The end. Thank you. Thank you very much, little bear, mother bear, ten pail. So this week's activity that's going to get us outdoors and is related to blueberries for Sal is that we are going to do a cooking project wow, wow. and then take it to the trail. And I always find when we go outdoors, hiking and camping as a family, 
my kiddos tend to do a little bit better when they're super excited about the food that we're that we're bringing with us. So today we wanted to make a trail treat um, that we can take on our next hike and it's not blueberry season and we don't live in Maine, but one of our favorite food items in the house is Wyman's Wild Blueberries from Maine. Um, we eat these all year. These are one of our favorite finds. We put them in smoothies, we put them in pancakes, and we put them in blueberry muffins. muffins. So today we're gonna make blueberry muffins and then take them on the trail with us. So. Well, hello everyone. Uh, it's week, month two of the Little Hikers Club with Charlie, and I'm Charlie's dad, Brew. And you saw Jennifer and Charlie making um, making uh, blueberry muffins. Um, and Jennifer asked me to play a breakfast themed song for you. So I'm playing a song I wrote last year called "Mama's Serving Oatmeal Again," and it's about how sometimes in life we just don't get what we want. And that's okay, you know? Um, you can't always get what you want. Uh, and I'm wearing my oatmeal themed, my oatmeal colored sweatshirt uh, in honor of this song. So I hope you like it. It's called um, Mama Serving Oatmeal Again. Mama Serving Oatmeal Again. What I wouldn't give for a cheese omelet. A big old waffle with strawberries on it. A sausage biscuit or a bowl of grits But mama's serving oatmeal again Mama's serving oatmeal again And I don't have the heart to tell her no But I'm dying for a breakfast burrito Filled with jalapenos and all the fixings But mama's serving oatmeal again Mama's serving oatmeal again Well, I'd settle for a plain old cup of yogurt A sprinkle of granola wouldn't hurt Maybe she could take it all the way Add some berries, make it a parfait But Mama's serving oatmeal again Well, Mama service oatmeal this morning If she does, I think I might start crying And I know you think that I am lying But I'm about to lose it, my friend If Mama serves us oatmeal again Oh my heavens, what is this I see? Is it true or am I only dreaming? A plate of muffins and assorted pastries with watermelon and some honeydew. Cantaloupe and cut up kiwi too. Well, finally, it's mama for the win. And I will never eat oatmeal again and again and again. Again and again and again. Again and again, again and again, again and again and again. You know, I kind of miss that oatmeal. That steel cut oats, they're kind of like little chia seeds that just pop in your mouth. You can put some, put some nuts on them, add a little honey or maple syrup, some blueberries. It's kind of tasty actually, you know. Sometimes you don't know what you got till it's gone. Well, maybe she'll make oatmeal some other time. See you next time. Okay, we have all our ingredients right here and Charlie is going to help me bake. So Charlie, come here honey. Can you please put the milk in the mix? Great. Can you put the eggs in the mix? Can I store the stuff in the mix? 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why don't you start stirring this? And I gently, gently, I am gonna melt some butter. Alright, you ready for the butter? Yep. And we're gonna put the blueberry stuff in the um, freezer. Um, or oh, maybe we're done with the blueberries uh, because mom put in a lot of them. Um, we're gonna put them back in the freezer so they don't melt. Mmm, these are looking great. Look. Oh. Uh, okay, and then we scoop them with our ice cream scoop and put them in our muffin tin. You want to scoop? Chill. Scoop. Piggy. This might take a while. <laughs> okay, it's the moment of truth. We're going to see how our blueberry muffins look. Oh, they look delicious. Here they are. Now we can go for a hike. Okay, so the final part of this week's uh, Little Hiker Book Club is to take a hike and eat your muffins. This is how we're spending our Friday afternoon and evening. And we hope you get outside this weekend too. Let's see how they turned out. Mm -hmm. Are they good? <laughs> Do you like it? Sissy, how are those muffins? Very indicative of their personalities. Gus just eats it. Charlie takes the wrapper off first. Wow. And then needs it. Digs in good. <laughs> All right. Thanks for reading Blueberries for Sal with us. Happy trails. Happy trails.